Okay, let's have a look at how we can show the values on our plots. So what I'm talking about is I want to know exactly how high the bar is and what number associates with it. In order to do so, we have to set up a little for loop and I'll just type it and explain it in a second. Cap. Okay, so we're looking for i and v where i is the index where the number has to be plotted. So this would be index one, this is index two, three, and four, and the second one is the value. We will use the enumerate function because it allows us to have an automatic counter in our loop, which we need for the index. Next one we're going to do is we use plt.text and we will give the two numbers into our function. So the first one is the index and the second one is the value. Then we have to tell the function where the values come from. And we'll just type in v because we know the values are in here. So this is a little complicated if you don't know what's going on. This is the value itself and this is more or less the x or y coordinate of where it has to be. And I will just print this for a second. Um, oh, yeah. Here we go. Now we see the numbers. We want to have them centered, so we'll just type in ha center. Let it run again. And now we have them centered. So the x and y coordinates, the i and v, tell us where the numbers are located. So first index, and then at 49,200, at 6,300, and so on. If we want to have our numbers a little bit higher, we'll just add something to our y value. And I will just go with 3000, see how it looks like. And now we see that there's a little gap in between. If we go higher, let's take 6000, so we see a difference. Looks like this, okay. Um, another few things, we can make them bold. Just type in bold. There we go. Or we change the size of the font, which is size, and I'll just take 10. Ah. There we have it. That looks nice. We'll just keep it that way. I hope this helped. See you in the next video.